Hi fairies and welcome back to my channel. It's Theresia Andrea and I feel like it's been centuries since I've done a talk through talking video for you guys. Today I'm doing a full get ready with me. I'm going to be getting my nails done. I do my makeup on camera. I do my hair on camera and I also show you guys my outfit. Now granted we are in quarantine so it's not like I'm actually going anywhere when I filmed the makeup hair and outfit portion this video thank god my, i got my nails done before we actually went in strict quarantine and all the nail salons closed down literally you guys i went and got my nails done and then two days later we got on quarantine and everything had to be shut down so my timing was absolutely perfect when i did this entire video thank god because it wouldn't have been a video if i didn't get my freaking nails done so um i'm just going to be getting my nails done this is actually a new nail tech as you guys can see um, I don't get my nails done by the other person I went to before for just reasons that I just don't want to disclose you know I don't want to you know try to wish anyone bad or you know business wise or anything like that it's just not gonna work out anymore so I found a new nail tech her name is Mai she is in Philadelphia I will leave all her information down below in the description box and if you guys are interested in her definitely check her out she's super freaking dope and she's so affordable and cheap you guys like not cheap to where it's like she's like under rating herself but like these nails were literally like only a hundred dollars and I got a full set a design and everything and for her craft it is absolutely amazing like I'm not paying $400 like I did before literally $300 cheaper I am with the shits and she literally does like the same exact um, she has the same exact exact style that um, the other person did and but the only thing that I don't really um, like that I wish and I'm just being picky with it it's just I wish she used real Swarovski crystals um, she definitely I asked her the first time that I even asked uh, to make an appointment with her um, if she uses real Swarovski she definitely said no but you know they shine just like real Swarovski's I mean because I would I've been using real Swarovski's with my other nail tech and now I can see the difference between real and fake um, I think I'm just so spoiled to where I just want real Swarovski's now so I think I'm just going to buy my own Swarovski's and then bring them to her when I have a specific design that I want um, to use them. Hers, obviously, you know, it's not bad. I'm just being very picky and just real needy and I'm just so spoiled with the real one. So it's nothing wrong with it. I think her skills are absolutely superb, but I'm just gonna go and buy my own Swarovskis and just bring them to her if I have an idea in my head and I wanna use um, some diamonds or whatever the hell. Um, now we're gonna move on to doing the hair portion of the video. I'm not really gonna sit here and talk through an entire video because some portions you guys really don't need me to talk and in other portions you guys definitely need me to say something um so um this video is definitely sponsored by her given hair um this is the sister company of rpg show and my first wigs you guys know both of these companies i've been working with them since i first started doing wigs years ago when i first got on my first year of youtube um i've been using them for forever i am partnering with them i have so many wigs by both of these companies and this is actually only my second wig that i've tried from her given hair this is actually a tighter kinky version of my brown hair that has been going absolutely viral on Instagram and Facebook um, you guys will probably see this video I will put the link probably or just put like a portion of the video in this video to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about and just for you know um, for privacy re reasons and to show you guys that this is actually the actual company and this is actually my video obviously um, that hair is actually by RPG show like I said that's a sister company to her given hair but I just wanted to have a kinkier version Version, a tighter version of that way and it's actually very funny because right when I made this video um, and recorded this video is when the other video started going viral so perfect timing hello perfect time for getting my nails done perfect timing for dropping this video um, because everything is just happening at the time that it's supposed to happen weird um so I'm just showing you guys the actual wig it is a three um, a six inch parting wig it does have Swiss transparent lace um, it does come with bleach knots I was so shocked by that because usually you know you have to bleach your own knots but with the her giving wigs this one came with bleach knots so I didn't have to do anything to the knots at all it literally came exactly like this the only thing I did was co-wash it and I defined the curls when you get this wig you're definitely going to have to define the curls you're going to have to because when you first get it you're going to be like what the hell is this but that's all I'm going to show you guys on 
on camera how I define them, what products I use to do it. Um, I use the Denman brush to get these curls as good as it is. And yeah, this is actually the old uh, other wig that I have from RPG Show. Um, like I told you guys, this is a sister company that basically like, you know, same company, but her given hair is just a natural, kinkier, um, curly version of the RPG Show brand. Um, and their wigs are freaking phenomenal. They are pretty pricey. I will throw that out there. I think this wig is like 400 or something dollars. Um, but as you guys can see with the quality, I understand why it costs so much because with curly hair is a little bit more expensive. It's more pricey, but this quality and even the other quality that I had before from a wig that I did with them a year ago, both of these qualities are absolutely amazing, you guys. So definitely check them out. Um, but I just wanna throw that out there that they are pretty pricey. So I'm doing a little bit of a new technique. I've been in quarantine. Obviously, we all have been in quarantine and I just want to tighten up my skills as far as laying down my laces trying to come up in my head with just different easier techniques for you guys to try out um you guys know i'm always here for giving you guys new tips new techniques new tips and tricks and stuff like that um to better your skills better your makeup skills better your hair skills and um i kind of just decided to start doing my wigs like this as far as curly hair um i think that you literally cannot even tell that this is a wig when i wear it and do it like this all i'm doing is just cutting the um, front part of the wig I'm putting it down with some bedhead spray I personally feel as though the bedhead spray works best when I'm using transparent lace from the times that I've used this bedhead spray I've noticed that I love to use it with using transparent lace more so than using HG I think because with the HG it's just so thin that I think that it just is a little bit too thin for a spray like the bedhead but as far as transparent lace um, especially the ones from RPG show my first wigs and um also her given hair their swiss lace is just so thin it's so close to hd but it's not really hd um but it's like the best finest um type of transparent you can get on the market but i feel like the bed head works perfectly with their type of laces my next wig after this will be away from rpg show and you guys will see in that video i use the bed head as well and you definitely get the same type of frontal lay as you guys see in this one um so yeah i just went ahead and laid down down the top part of my wig then I also just went ahead and cut these sides of the wig because I didn't really need it my hair is already naturally curly so I just kind of just let my natural edges out and you guys literally cannot even tell this is even a freaking wig my boyfriend thought this was my hair he was like oh my god babe you dyed your hair and I was like yeah I did and I just waited for him to just naturally figure out that it was not my hair he was like oh my god like I literally could not even tell that's how bomb this entire install is you guys let me know in the description box if you guys feel the whole type of vibe of like damn girl it looks so real um let me know down below in the comment section if you guys agree and you literally cannot even tell this is even a wig this entire video um so now i'm just moving on to doing my foundation routine i went ahead and did my eyebrows off camera defined them with some concealer and then i'm going to move on to doing my um primer base i use the bobby brown um vitamin enrich face base as well as the touch and soul um priming essence i love to use both of those in conjunction with each other because they're freaking amazing um and then i went ahead and used some concealer from cover fx i've been doing a less foundation more concealer type of vibe i am doing or i actually recorded it already but i did record a video um where i followed along with another youtuber's um video as far as highlighting and contouring i'm not going to drop the name yet if you guys saw on my instagram post i definitely let you guys know what video i'm going to be following along with but if you guys are in youtube and you don't follow me on instagram which you definitely should be red fairy to wise i dropped the name of who video i was going to be following along with um but if you are a youtube fan and you guys didn't even know i'm not going to tell you yet you're just going to have to find out on your own surprise um so then i'm moving on to using some concealer yet again this is the fenty concealer in the shade uh 360 then i'm just going to be defining my nose using fenty beauty again i love using her products they just work so well it's so good on my skin they don't break me out and they just uh super bomb um i'm just going to use a, a matte matchstick and the color espresso to define my nose as well as defining my cheeks and then i'm just going to blend out my contour and then move on to blending out my concealer But 
But before I go ahead and blend out my concealer underneath my eyes, I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit more. And I'm just gonna use that same concealer that I used to cover up Mr. Mustache and just define underneath my contour. I feel like sometimes lately I've been kind of bringing my contour down a little bit too far. So all I do, whether it's with concealer or a full B foundation day, I just take some excess uh, concealer and cut underneath that contour just to chisel out those cheekbones a little bit more. Then I move on to um, blending out the contour on my nose. And then I go ahead and blend out that concealer that I let sit. Um, I just feel like letting the concealer sit underneath your eyes just kind of adds to the coverage. It just makes sure the bags is kind of just covered and it just makes the whole effect just look so much more nicer. Now I'm gonna move on to powdering my um, under eye. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Baking Powder in the color Banana. I believe that's what it's called. I believe it's called Banana. If it's not called Banana, I would just leave it down below because I literally forgot the name. Um, but I'm just gonna be putting that wherever I put that lighter concealer underneath my eyes, on my chin, and on my nose. Now I'm gonna move on to bronzing. I'm gonna use the um, Prime Beauty Bronzer in Brownsville. Um, and I'm going to be chiseling out my cheeks with this as well as chiseling out my nose. Then I'm gonna move on to using my MAC Dark Deepest, um, what is it called? Dark Deepest Skin Finish Natural. And I'm just going to apply that all over my entire face whether it's on my forehead underneath my eyes I'm literally applying that powder everywhere because i just want to make sure that i number one don't have any flashback and number two to make sure everything looks a lot more natural and just so much more effortless like i'm barely even wearing that much foundation which i'm not even wearing foundation i'm wearing just concealer um and powder but it just gives you such a more softer more natural look especially for like spring and summertime Now I'm gonna move on to spraying my face with the Morphe um, Setting Mist. Then we're gonna move on to eyes. So I didn't really know what type of eye look I wanted to do. Uh, do. I knew what kind of outfit I wanted to wear. So again, I'm literally not even going anywhere, you guys, but I just wanted to do like a literally a full get ready meet with me, my um, nails, my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. Um, I even threw on some shoes in a bag as if I was going out and going somewhere, but I didn't. I literally only went to the grocery store and that was about it. And I wore a mask anyway, so no I even and see my freaking face um barely they only saw my eyes so i just i just made my eyes pop a little bit more and my face was a little bit more subtle not too much foundation foundation and all that stuff um but yeah i literally did not go barely anywhere i literally was outside for like 30 minutes and that was it um but yeah we are on that quarantine life, but that does not mean that you guys can't look freaking fabulous um, when it comes to just stepping out. If we're gonna be outside for 30 minutes, sis, I'm gonna be slaying for 30 minutes then, okay? So I'm going ahead and using the Anastasia um, Norvina Volume 2 palette. I believe it's the purples, I think it's Volume 2. It's actually volume one, but it's the purple palette. I am specifying in the video what shades that I use. I didn't really know if I wanted to go more on the purple side or if I wanted to go more on the orange side. So obviously I went more, a little bit more on the orange side because my outfit was like a rustic orange. And I just felt like this entire look just came out so cute. I definitely had to throw my own little touch to it. I don't really know what my obsession is with the whole rhinestone looks, but literally every single time I put a makeup look on, I put some rhinestones on. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with the rhinestones now, but literally every single video, y'all about to see some rhinestones because maybe that's like turning into like my signature look kind of, like a red fairy, Larisa Andrea type of look. You guys know I'm like a straight up weirdo. Um, so I don't know. I just feel like it goes with the whole little vibe of like how my style is and stuff. Um, you guys can let me know if it's like getting a little bit played out. <laughs> I still won't stop though. <laughs> So 
So I just went ahead and used the Stila um, Liquid Shadow. I think it's in the shade Flame or something like that. I will leave the correct name down below. Um, then I just take one more shade from the um, Norvina Volume 1 palette. It's like a very, you know, subtle shimmer of orange. It was like the only, she doesn't really have that many shimmer shades in there, but it was like the only orange shimmer shade in there. Um, and I just put that in the center of my lid and then I just went ahead and took um, that same uh, darkish auburn type of color to put on my outer crease. Then I just put in a inner corner highlight and then now I'm gonna do my wing using the Sephora Collection High Precision um, Liquid Liner. Now I'm going to be using this orange glitter that I got from LA um, Lemon Lemonhead LA, I believe it's called. It's like this creator brand in um, Los Angeles, and they make the best glitters. I have literally like almost the entire collection. Their glitters are absolutely amazing. They're like the easiest thing ever. I don't have to use lash glue and then put some loose glitter on and all that freaking unnecessary steps that I just do not feel like taking anymore. Um, but you guys definitely go ahead and check them out. I will leave um, their information down below, like everything else, but their glitters are absolutely amazing. I've been using them for like the past year now. You guys have seen so many times I've used um, this brand as far as glitters in my tutorials because they're just that good. I'm gonna go now in with some NYX um, retractable pencil liner in white. I told you guys from another video a while ago, I barely been doing makeup videos, but um, I need to go get some more colors of this retractable pencil from NYX because it's so pigmented and it's so good. And I just wanna get a little bit more, um, a few more colors. Then I went ahead and put on my lashes and then that's when I start to do my entire application of my freaking rhinestones. Um, because like I said, I just feel like the rhinestones just gave this look like a little bit more oomph to it. It just gave it like a signature Laresha Andrea vibe. And and it just came out so freaking bomb. Now I'm just going ahead and putting on some lower lashes. Like I said, the whole rhinestones, the lower lashes, and just like, you know, everything about like my makeup looks lately have been with including rhinestones and lower lashes. Like I said, I don't know what my obsession is with using those two type of things, but I just feel like it literally pulls in my entire red fairy look together like i don't know i'm just really obsessed with it you guys let me know if you guys agree with me or like i said if you don't that's okay everyone's obligated to their own opinion but i probably won't stop anyway but i still want to know you guys's opinion anyway i don't know <laughs> it's like an aquarius thing who <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Now moving on to uh, going back to the hair. Um, I just let the uh, bed head sit on my hairline and all that stuff while I was doing my makeup. And then now I'm gonna move on to using some spray. You guys know I love using the 12 Butte um, Hair Mist. It smells amazing, it works amazing. I love to use it on my curly hair for my wigs as well as my natural curly hair for my um, natural hair. Then I'm gonna use this pick that I got from Sally's. You can just get any pick from anywhere. And I'm just going to now 
now pluck out the hair. I didn't pluck it too much because, um, you know, we did define it using some conditioner and I did let the wig sit overnight to dry. The next day I went ahead and um, started to do this final portion of the video. This video definitely did take me like four days to do, three days worth of um, filming, obviously going to the nail shop and then doing a wig and then doing my makeup and hair the next day. And then one day, one full day of um, editing. So it literally took me four days to do this video. I would love to continue to do videos like this. Let me know you guys, if you guys wanna see more full um, videos like this. It takes me a pretty, like a long time to do them, but I don't mind to set out weeks, you know, and days to do them. If you guys really want me to start to do them um, more frequently because they're freaking fun. My outfits will be a lot more lit, you know, as time goes on and we're not in quarantine. I can actually go out, go to the club, go and actually do shit. Um, but until then, we will be in quarantine life in the house and you guys are just going to, you know, get some ideas of loungewear. <laughs> So like I said, I'm just going ahead and spraying, plucking, I'm not plucking, spraying and picking, spraying and picking, spraying and picking until the wig gets as big as I want it to. And I just pull out a little bit more of my baby hair because like I said, this wig looks so real. Like literally everyone thought this was my hair. My boyfriend thought it was my hair. My boyfriend's dad thought it was my hair. My boyfriend's mom thought it was my hair. Like I'm staying at my boyfriend's house currently right now for quarantine. But when I filmed this portion of the video, I was definitely back at home in my studio. Um, um, but literally when I went from um, my studio to my boyfriend's house, everyone thought this was my hair. Like, and I even, listen sis, for 2.5 seconds, I thought this could be my hair <laughs> in my head. But yes, this it came out so cute. Like I literally love the fact that I now have a more kinky 3C4A. This is actually, no. Yeah, 3C, 3C4A version of the viral wig that you guys have seen. If I'm not mistaken, the other wig that you guys saw was a 3C texture, and this one is more of a kinky 3C4A texture. But I'm so happy that we now have a tighter, kinkier texture, and it's actually from Her Given Hair and not RPG Show this time. But like I said, they are sister companies. But this came out so bomb, you guys. I just went ahead and finished off um, using some lip gloss from Fenty Beauty. It was just an orange color that just matched the whole entire look and vibe of this whole entire video. Um, I just threw on my Laurie Jandrea chains and you guys, this came out so freaking bomb. Like it is definitely a Red Fairy Laurie Jandrea look. Um, let me know if you guys love this look as well. Um, let me guys, let me know if you guys want to see more full versions of um, me doing and going absolutely nowhere. Um, but these are just some see-through feelers that I had through on. I got them from Kate's Foot Locker. I do wear size seven. Um, and then I I did throw it with my see-through Michael Kors bag. Um, I believe you can still get this Michael Kors bag. I don't really know. I got it like a year and a half ago. But yeah, this is how my body is looking. I am doing an updated body with me trying on some clothes later on. Um, but definitely let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this. I did get this outfit from Fashion Nova. And if you guys are interested, I will leave that link down below. Hopefully it's still available. But yeah, I love you guys so much. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And bye guys.